welcome to the happiest place on earth. I'm Chloe, I usually do book content, but uh, here we are at Disneyland today, and I'm trying to tie in Disneyland and books together. So, I have brought a book to Disneyland, and we are doing a little challenge. I don't know if it's really gonna be a challenge, because I'm still trying to have fun while I'm here, but we're gonna see how much of this book Maybe this book. I also brought my Kindle, so if I don't like this book, I can switch. We're gonna see how much of this I can read while at Disneyland, but still have fun at Disneyland. And I have brought Not In Love by Ali Hazelwood, a smutty romance book to Disneyland, and the security guard totally called me out for it being a smutty book. This is Ali Hazelwood's newest book. I thought I would bring this book to Disneyland because she's fun to read, they're easy to read, but if I don't like this, because I need something to keep my mind off of being in Disneyland, or not really off of being in Disneyland, but Something that I can read and not get distracted by things around me. I also brought my Kindle, which is also full of other smutty books. <laughs> and some romance and like other fantasy books, you know, just in case. I have, a, I have quite a bit of options here to use, so we'll see. But I don't even know what this is about. I just know it's Allie Hazelwood, so it's probably a STEMist novel. But we'll see. I'll update you as we read and how much we read in each line. And you'll get a little bit of a Disney vlog as well. But just today, even though we're gonna be here for like four days. I have my boyfriend, Gavin, on the other side of the camera. He's gonna be helping me out today. I'm gonna try to make not make a fool of myself by recording in public, but uh, I'm an anxious girly, so we'll see what happens. Speaking of being an anxious girly, I have an update on Magic Mind. If you saw my previous video, I did like a seven day challenge with Magic Mind. These are a productivity like booster shot. Magic Mind helps you with stress and anxiety as well as getting better sleep at night. It also has 12 ingredients in all your daily vitamins that you possibly need in this right here. I have been taking it for 10 days now. If you wanna know more about my journey of taking this the first seven days, you can see that in my previous video. But a little update for you guys here, I'm on day 10. I am feeling more energized. It's helping me stay focused throughout the day as well as be more energized and getting better sleep at night. But I'm gonna continue taking this for the next five days. I have a code for you guys if you wanna try it. It's reading 20 to get 48% off your first subscription. <laughs> Astro Orbiter wants to kill me right now. Anyways, let's go read at Disneyland now. Oh, it's just a video. <laughs> oh god, why is this kind of scary though? The rocket okay. ships have initiated landing procedures. Thank god, okay. That ride set off my height, scare, uh, height fright. Height fright? What height fright, that's it. The height fright of me, like we went all the way up with the handle and then I pushed the handle a little down because I was freaking out because we were so high up and it wouldn't go down so we got stuck up there and then I was panicking. But it was fun! Also we only waited like two minutes so I didn't read anything. And I didn't even pull out my book to be honest because we were waiting such a short time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I kind of never want to do that again. <laughs> but like, oh, I would. I forgot how scary it was. Duck. My man, this is the cheesy garlic bread from Maurice's Treats. Cheesy garlic bread, pretzel twist, knot. pretzel knot, and marinara sauce. Yummy. Look at that cheese. Yummy. <laughs> My favorite ride. We got a virtual queue for it, so it's not much of a wait. So I'm not pulling out my book for this one. But my baby is here. It smells so good. We're stuck in this room. And honestly, I'll take it. Being stuck on any ride, Haunted Mansion is the one to be stuck on. I might be a little biased. We both love the Haunted Mansion. He loves it like this, I like it normal Haunted Mansion. Whatever, I still see the corpse uh, of the Haunted Mansion in the you know, Night Before Christmas stuff. We're gonna go to Jungle Cruise now. We've done two rides, exactly zero pages is read. So challenge going great. It's definitely picking up. This is the first queue we're actually waiting in. So I'm gonna start reading now. We're in queue for Jungle Cruise. We are on the Mark Twain. I want to hear the new audio. There's new audio for 
the bayou or for Tiana's bayou for when it opens in November because they just announced it, but they just changed the audio on the Mark Twain, so I wanted to check it out. challenge is how long I'm gonna keep this lipstick on because it's driving me crazy. We are on our way to California Adventure now where we will ride Guardians on a fast, on a lightning lane though. So I don't know how much we're actually gonna wait in that line. So, so far I've read five pages. Uh, we have food first. Oh, food first. I'm not gonna read while we eat though. We'll see, we have a bunch of lightning lanes today so we're not gonna be waiting in many lines it feels like. Beer at Tacos, which are the most delicious food that you can get in DCA basically, and a pomegranate margarita. Is it like 12 in the 12? 11? What time is it? 11.30. It's 11.30 we're drinking margaritas, but you know what? We're on vacation. Uh, I guess we got, I got to the part in the book where I figured out what she is. She's an engineer and um, I think it's a boss and worker oh, romance great. story, but I can't tell yet. We'll see. We'll see. It's probably like all the other Allie Hazelwood books that possibly exist out there. They're all basically the same thing. But hey, they're easy to read. I got a pomegranate margarita, or Gavin got it for us. And then quesadilla tacos, which are delicious. And then a horchata. It's sweet. No, it's good. Because we're doing Lightning Lane, I don't think there's gonna be much of a wait here for this one. But there could be, because it is Toys for Mania and it always has a long wait. Right, actually, I might pull it out. Okay, pull out my book. As soon as I started getting my book out, we started moving and we're almost at the front now. So, zero pages read in Toys for Mania. But that's okay, because I'm gonna beat him, because I get really competitive on this ride. Oh my god, we got Woody. Oh! <laughs> I beat you. It is so hot that we decided to stand next to Grizzly and get cold, but not go on it, Grizzly, or not get cold, but get wet. Oh. Yeah, it feels so, so nice. nice. It feels so nice because it's so hot right now. So we're just gonna stand over here by Grizzly for a second and get a little misted. There goes another one. Okay, we're going on credit coaster next, but we also have a lightning lane for it. So literally we're not waiting, so it means zero pages read. And this wasn't the right day to do this. I should have done this yesterday when we did it by lightning lanes and just waited in like 40, 50 minute waits. This ride still gets me a little bit in the height fright area. We're going to Guardians, also fast pass, so also probably not gonna read because by the time I bought my book, we're moving into an elevator. Actually, Guardians didn't take longer. Yeah. So I might be able to. It's just been so hot, it's been hard to like... Justify reading. Yeah. Maybe once it starts cooling off a little bit. Step closer to your exciting encounter with the Guardians of the Galaxy. Now standing in my private office. I know. Big motivation for me to escape. Ow! Escape. What? <laughs> of course I escaped! I'm just literally just gonna say like we just eat here. But um, this is a vanilla ice cream with espresso on top. And I needed some coffee. Gavin needed his water. The lipstick won the battle and it's now gone. I'm done dealing with it for today. We are on our way back to Disneyland. I think we're gonna hit Pirates. And then um, I should be able to read in that line. It does move pretty quick, frequently though, but I can read and walk. And then uh, we have reservations at Blue Bayou. We really are just like eating today. Yeah. It's okay though. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We're on chapter 42. We just got- I'm sorry. <laughs> the heat is giving to me. We're on, I'm on page 42. And we just got to the Pirates line. <laughs> It's 
reference. This thing is bigger than my hand. And we had a really yummy salad. We're still eating the salad. We're still eating the salad. Oh my god, it's huge. I have a guy drinky. I got a wine. I am like overly full. We've been eating way too much today. And so we gotta go wait in a line. And all the lines are busy. And we're like, well, if we're gonna wait in a line, let's go wait in Peter Pan. Everything is a really long wait, and we're, we're waiting for something, we might as well wait for Peter Pan. Because Peter Pan is always like a 40 minute wait. And we both never waited it, because we never think Peter Pan is worth a 40 minute wait. So we're just gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah. Get to reading. before Peter Pan. <laughs> before Peter Pan came and stole the book. Yeah, uh, the ride is cool, but it's so short. It's definitely not worth 40 minute wait. It's a cool storybook ride. Yes, It's but just not worth it. No. Yeah. We're going on Mickey and Minnie's, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. It's past past though, so I don't know how much of wait it will be. I'll see what I can read though. Ready? I'm having like an allergy attack. It's fine though. Almost an hour wait for Matterhorn, so we'll see how far I get. But page 103. <sighs> uh, we're client quiz. We're lame. Usually we can go open to close, but I started having an allergy attack two hours ago. About. About, yeah. And even though I took Benadryl, it's still not going away and I can't breathe right now. So, um, we're going home and it's too dark to read anymore anyways. So, uh, we're calling this one quit. I'm gonna get a churro and go home. Almost halfway through this book. Mm -hmm. I'm on chapter 15, page 157 out of 380-ish. A little uh, less than halfway. A little under halfway. But, but we like, did do a lot of lightning lanes today, so they were fast. So that last queue really helped. I read a lot in the Matterhorn queue, and I didn't think I was going to because it was dark, but we waited. It was our longest queue today, for sure. We bought lightning lane today, so we ended up just speeding through a lot of the lines, and so by the time I got my book out, like, we were already getting on the ride, so I couldn't actually, like, read anything. I mean, the first one we waited for, I only read like five pages, so you know, there's that. Honestly, it did make the time go by in Matterhorn really, really fast by just standing there and reading. And I got half a book done. If we wouldn't have done Genie, it's not called Genie Plus anymore. Lightning Lane Multicast. Yeah. If we wouldn't have done it, like yesterday when we didn't do it, we waited in a bunch of like 40-ish minute lines, I think I could have read a lot more. But we like just chilled out and ate a lot. So I just didn't end up reading that much because I wasn't going to eat and read at the same time while at Disneyland. I wanted to actually like enjoy my time at Disneyland a little bit, but I can't breathe. So I'm gonna go home now and take a shower. So hopefully I can breathe. One thing I have noticed is that I kind of wish I took Magic Mind more towards the middle or evening of the day, because I did that yesterday and I think it really helped like give me the second boost for the second half of the day. But uh, I do think reading at Disneyland helps a few times for sure. Uh, as long as you're also paying attention to where you're going. If you can walk and read, that's great. I've done this once before, kind of. I didn't mean to, but when we were here in February, when Crescent City number three came out, reading in the park on my phone on like Kindle. So reading on your phone is probably better than having a physical book because this is a lot to carry around. I mean, this copy is getting pretty wrecked. Not like Hazelwood book, and I'll talk about it more in a wrap up later on. But thanks for watching. Thanks for coming to the Magical Place on Earth. I'm gonna go hopefully be able to breathe.